Okay, I've got zero fingers of light at this point. Yeah, no pressure to get this thing done. I'm sensing a trend when I do this. If you haven't jumped in on our Facebook group, you're missing out on some fun stuff, including this episode right here. This is a You Call It episode. I put up a poll, you guys responded, and overwhelmingly, y'all said you wanted a war story. Kendrick reminded me of a really fun one, but I'm saving that one for another time. Now, this one's kind of inspired by a message I got from somebody else on Facebook, but I'll explain that in just a second. The story is that Fox Paintball Games were playing on the front of the field midsummer, and this was a 50 on 50 day, and that used to be for us a big game, that used to be huge, but now it's like, that's just like the weekend, right? And being midsummer, Summer, there's a lot of greenery outside. I'm in full camouflage. This is just, oh, this is perfect. I'm enjoying the heck out of this thing. So before the game begins, I'm seeing what most of the people want to do, and most of them want to kind of slam the middle. Okay, they're going to go pound some paint down. I'm not really in the mood for that, but hey, these tournament guys over here, they're going to go take the tape line, and they're just going to take a small force that way. I can work with this. On the word go, I let those guys just scream down the tape line because they're younger than I am. They can make it there much faster. And besides, I've gotten pretty good at, you know, making a situation work for me. I get about 30 yards back from the firefight. I notice, oh, they sent all their tourney guys down the same tape line. So our tourney guys are beating in their tourney gut. I can work with this still. Hit the ground, start crawl. Took me about five minutes to do this, but by the time I stopped my crawl, I got to about mm, well within their territory, and they're still playing twitch ball with each other. Okay, make one elimination, make a second elimination, but um, yeah, in the time it took me to do that, basically our guys and their guys pretty much eliminated each other. I can work with this still. We're, we're still good. We're still good. The other team really hasn't spotted me. Okay, it's time to keep on crawling. It took me another 10 minutes. I crawled from essentially eh, there to the end of the field, but another 10 minute crawl. Imagine trying to crawl a football field under fire. That's kind of what it was like. Get to the back of the field, stand up, look around. Nobody's shooting at me. Nobody's shooting at me. I'm going to go get the flag. I get behind their flag station and I realize, hey, there's the firefight over there. They're about 50 yards. Uh, okay, there's no way they're going to make it to the flag station in time. They're just going to keep pounding. I'm just going to grab the flag. But as I'm about to start grabbing the flag, I realize, okay, the defense consists of one big person, two little people. Okay, that's like dad and his two kids. <sighs> oh, man. This is sort of a conundrum for me because what do you do? Do you shoot these kids in the back, which would obviously cause them a lot of pain, and I really don't want to do that to kids. It's just not right. Do you take the flag and hope they don't turn around, which would be an interesting life lesson, assuming that they don't notice you do it, or do you break the rules? See, the rules down at Fox specifically state that you may not enter within 10 feet of another player. It's like a safety halo around all opponents, essentially, so you're not allowed to cross that distance. Now, if you accidentally do, you ask them to surrender, but the other person doesn't have to surrender. But you're not supposed to get within that 10 feet. So I took a really quick moment to kind of figure out, uh, I don't, okay, you know what? I know the rules, but this is one of those times that I feel justified breaking the rules. So I walk up behind the three people, level the gun towards them, and say, excuse me, um, would you like to surrender, please? The little kid shrieks in terror because he suddenly realizes that, the drop, that I just got the drop on him. He's like, ah! He's maybe thinking about shooting, but he doesn't shoot. But the dad says, no, you got us. Okay, that's cool, that's cool, thank you, thank you. And starts, you know, get everybody, get everybody, they get their brill socks in, they start walking off the field. Now at this point, I was like, oh, thank you. I did not want to pull the trigger at this close range. Even if I was 15 feet back, shooting a kid point blank at 15 feet, that just would not have ended well. Okay, anybody else, anybody else? Okay, we're cool. I take the flag, sling it over my shoulder, and I just start walking. Walk all the way around the tape line. I get about halfway down the field, and a referee finally comes sprinting over to me. They didn't even know that I had taken the flag. They didn't even know anybody was close to the flag. So at this point, I kind of figure, ooh, maybe I should start hustling. I start to kind of get a good sprint going, and they blow the horn, game over. <laughs> That's okay. I mean, we're just here to have fun anyway, right? After the game was over, the dad came over and found me and he thanked me for not shooting his kids in the back. I'm like, dude, you know, that's just, I'm not going to do that. But this actually kind of brings me to the takeaway I got from this story. And that is sometimes you got to dial it back. A lot of times you realize, okay, you got to go flat out against this guy. You turn the corner and a complete different situation is now presenting to you. So now you got to dial it way down. You know, you were at a 10, we need you at about a two. And I really can't help but wonder, let's say those tournament guys were the guys who pounded through, got behind the flag station and got within that almost really close distance of those kids. Would they lit him up? I don't know. The situation didn't quite play out that way. I like to think that people are a lot more decent than that, especially when it comes to kids. I'm just saying.